So let's create a very simple clock app in our React series. So what I will do, I will clear out this function and here once more this and I will simply say here clock and this has to be an element so I will say let clock is a function which is going to return um, simply h2 tag and this h2 tag include for just checking we will say this is clock so we have saved this let's now start the server so I have to open terminal here and here I will say npm run start and with the no time it will start the server and loading in our browser so here we have some problem so let's solve this so as this clock is a function so we have to make it as a function and now it's working this is clock very nice but we have to include here our time or simply the clock so I will say new date and if I do this I will get error because we have to convert it into a string so dot to local time string so we have converted this okay save it and yes we are having the time the correct time but it's not updating every time so what we have to do actually we have to include this thing inside our render function and now it will work but it will not again update so what we can do we can say set interval interval this will have a function and here we have to say 1000 which will just for millisecond and this means we are rendering this the date time every second and now you can see our timer is perfectly working so let's just make it little cool so I will say time now uh, should be now colon space save and yes maybe if I say like this that should be more good okay so you can see time now is this so it's a very simple thing but you will say yeah it's very easy but what the purpose of doing this I want to tell you that we can combine the core JavaScript functions and the react functions so you can see the core JavaScript set interval function is used here and inside that we are using our react function so this is very nice you have the power of JavaScript as well as the React. So now, as we always do, let's just push this into the GitHub. So stop the server. And I will say git status. It will say modified file index.js. Yes. So git add all. It's added. Now git status yeah cracked file now git has the knowledge of this modified file now git commit with a message of clock app and I will hit enter it will say committed now git status and working tree is clean simply say git push 
hit enter and in just a few seconds it's now updated to our github so if i go to github.com slash bitfumes you will get where is that the repositories and then react tutorials and you can see i have three commits if i go on the commits you can see the first latest commit clock app but if you are on this video that means you just have gone through this video so you want the source code for this so you have seen that if I go to this file if I click here and search for this source file and index.js you can see it's the latest one which is our date function but let's open this once more in new tab and I will go to commits this commit I will browse till this commit source file index.js and now you can see same file index.js and index.js but different content because these two contents are for different commit so on whatever video you are just go for the commit and search for that commit result okay and we will meet in the next episode with some new features of react and i think the component and props so till then don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram